So, you want to land your first IT job, but you don't know where to start. Well, hopefully at the end of this video, I'll be able to explain to you how you can apply to multiple jobs and be confident in your interviews. And on top of that, tailor your resume so employers can notice you more. My name is Brandon, and today I'm going to be speaking about your first IT job. It's very daunting to land an IT help desk position. I remember, I think it was last year where I struggled to apply to a lot of help desk jobs. I applied to many, 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 many jobs. And this was during the pandemic where you're competing against people who have more experience. So what do you need to do in order to land an IT help desk job? Landing an interview. It's pretty easy. I would say that this step is not that hard to do. But before you even go to this step, you need to apply to the job, right? Well, it's simple. Employers look at three main criteria. Number one, they look at your experience. Do you have any IT professional experience? If not, they'll look at number two, education. Do you have a bachelor's degree or an associate's degree? And lastly, they'll take a look at your certifications. Typically, they look for IT certifications. And personally for me, I landed the CompTIA A+, the Cisco CSAT certification before I got hired. And on top of that, you kind of want to make sure that whenever you apply to these IT help desk positions, you need to make sure that your resume looks good. So I'll be just looking over my past resume with you guys so you can get an understanding of how to write your resume so you can crush your next interview. When you apply, I've always been using Indeed. I rarely use LinkedIn and Indeed has always been my quote unquote best friend. All I do is just apply to all the IT help desk jobs that I see on there. And I just wait for somebody to email me back saying, hey, we would love to give you a phone interview or even an in-person interview. So at this point, let's just assume that now you've gone past searching for the job and now you're interviewing. Interviewing is a skill. It's not something where you can just walk in just to hopefully get in the job. You have to be really good at interviewing. So you have to make sure you brush up on whatever you have on your resume. I highly recommend you to never lie on your resume simply because if you do lie about your resume and let's say it's a skill that you claim that you've learned, the problem is that they're going to go ahead and grill you on that skill. So for example, if you had Python, they might ask you Python questions. If you don't know anything about Python, you're in tough luck. That makes you look bad and most likely the employer is not gonna hire you because why would they want to hire a liar? So on top of that, you want to make sure that you have your personal personable skills where you're able to be customer friendly. In the IT help desk position, all you're going to be doing is just talking to whoever your customers are, whether that's external or internal. So if you're working with internal, you want to make sure that you're always, you know, you have that customer friendly voice, you know, the one where you're talking a really high pitched voice. You're like, hi, my name is blah, 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 blah. How can I help you? You want to make sure you have that kind of attitude. Whenever you apply to jobs, you want to make sure that you have your resumes brushed up. You know everything that you have on your resume. So if your resume has something that you're not too confident about, I would probably remove it because if you get interviewed on that specific skill or the employer asks you about whatever you put down on your resume, you have to make sure that you have a story or something to, to provide for them. So whenever you're interviewing and they ask you a behavioral question, you want to make sure that you have this star method down. One of the most biggest or common questions that interviewers may ask you is, tell me about a time when you've dealt with a customer who was angry about something, you know, something like that. You wanna make sure you explain the STAR method. So S stands for situation, T stands for task, A stands for action, and R stands for result. That's how you stand out from the rest of the other interviewers, interviewees, I should say, because you have some kind of story where hopefully the employer will be able to remember it. And if it all goes well, they'll call you and say, hey, you got the job or hey, you have another interview to go to. <laughs> Who knows how many interviews you have to do. At AWS, I went through a lot of interviews. So usually with the IT help desk job, 
entry level. It's probably either one or two interviews at most. I could be wrong, but this is just from my experience. Let's say that you have you know everything on your resume, but you still have a little bit of questions that you're not too sure how to answer. Primarily technical questions. These questions are going to make or break your chance of getting into said company. You want to make sure that you've studied and you're knowledgeable about whatever it is that they might ask you. So for example, whenever you apply to a job, usually they're gonna have a description of what they want. For example, they might say, hey, we need you to understand routing and switching. We need you to understand the OSI model. We need you to work with customers using Windows or Apple or whatever criteria that they have. Make sure that you actually study everything that they have on their requirements. So that way you're prepared and at least you know how to answer those questions. Okay, so here we are on Indeed. And the first thing that you wanna do is sign into your account, obviously. And if you don't have an account, make sure you create one and make sure that it's pretty accurate to what you have. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign into my account right now. Okay, so after I signed in, as you can see, I can have some notifications. Usually it's a lot of ads. Some employers actually message you, but I don't think it really matters. Um, typically, you'll just check your messages or notifications through your email. Let's go ahead and search up for what kind of job we're looking for. So right now, we're going to look for IT help desk entry level. And for location, you want to put in your city, but this is just in general. Um, these are all different states, different cities, but let me go ahead and just walk you through what you should take a look at. So salary, I would say that for your first entry level job, I don't think your salary matters. I think what's more important is that you get your foot in the door. Then you can worry about salary later, but 15 to $16 an hour is not too bad. Um, in Texas, my first IT help desk job was about $17 an hour and well, different states have different pay, right? If you're in California, New York, Washington, I'm pretty sure they pay you higher because the cost of living is much more higher than, for example, Texas. So anyways, let's look at the About Us, right? You can definitely take a look at you know their description, who they are, but these right here, this is what you should be taking a look at, responsibilities. This is the kind of task that you will be doing on a day-to-day -day basis, maybe more. Um, this is just a very quick summary of what they expect from you, right? Work on complex IT projects for large organizations. This is great if you want to get more experience for whatever project it may be. And basically when you apply, you just put in your resume or the best part about Indeed is the fact that you can put in your resume and just press continue. And then when you just fill out the survey or whatever and press continue, sometimes you don't even have to go to the employer's website. Indeed just submits it for you. I'm not going to do it myself because I don't need to apply for a job, but this is just an example of how you would do it. All you do is just, like I said, put in the keyword, IT help desk entry level. Put in your city because you know you want to work where you're located at. You don't want to work somewhere one hour away, two hours away. And on top of that, if you can find a remote job, that's even better. But more than likely with COVID being um, non-existent anymore and people are returning to office, more than likely you will you'll be in the office. Okay, so here is my resume. This is my current resume. This is not my old resume from before I got my IT help desk job, but the concept is still the same, right? This is what it's supposed to look like. And you can find a lot of these templates online. I just found the template way long ago. I don't really remember where it is, but you know, you can always just copy and make sure it looks the same. Make sure that the white space is great, the, the fonts and the size, they don't look wonky. Let me go ahead and start from the top. This is my professional summary of who I am, what I do. I don't know if a lot of employers take a look at this. I don't think they really care. What they do care about is you know experience, your certifications. These are my skills. I'm not too sure if these are necessary, but they're there just in case. And my education. Maybe I have the order wrong, but this is all I have on my resume, and it was a lot better than my old resume, I'll tell you that. And over here, 
if you are trying to get your first you know, IT job, I would highly recommend putting in your experience. Either if you don't have professional experience, put in your volunteer experience and somehow relate it to customer service or if it's IT related, explain what you did, how it was related to IT. You know, did you build a PC? Did you work with routers and switches? Explain what you did. Or you can even put your projects here if you don't have experience. These are all my previous jobs that I've had and before this, when before I even got this job, I actually had a whole unit repair technician, you know, where I fixed MacBooks, and then before that was Starbucks, and then before that was working as a lifeguard. So as you can see, I kind of leveled up in each and every single one of my careers, and I slowly moved my way up from, you know, fixing MacBooks to then getting a help desk job, and then now I'm working at Amazon. So I hope that you are able to take something away from this resume as well as my step-by-step -step on how to apply for jobs so hopefully now you have the skills and you know what to do all that matters is that you apply 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 if you keep applying i can almost guarantee you that someone will call you and say hey let's do an interview with that being said i wish you the best of luck keep applying but what if you don't know what questions they might ask you well it's pretty easy typically if they put in their requirements um you go to glassdoor.com and if it's a me medium to large size companies, typically past interviewees will put their experience or share their experience um, on Glassdoor and that's how you're able, you'll be able to know what kind of questions um, the employer will ask you. I hope that this was useful information. I hope that you're able to take something out of this. And of course, if you have any further questions, please feel free to let me know and I'll be able to, you know, respond back in the comments.